doing this, there's two different things you can use. You can use Skull Wax on the right, or you can use Sculpt Gel on the left. Now, Sculpt Gel's a little more expensive, but the good thing about it is it's more flexible. However, I'm going to be showing you how to use just Skull Wax today, which is a little bit more tricky to use, but it's something that I think most of you will be able to get your hands on quite easily. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do this today. You want to take little blobs of Skull Wax, and then using some kind of spatula, not your fingers, because the problem with this product is that if it heats up, it will stick to your fingers and it's going to be hard to manage. So if you can, try and use a tool to blend in the edges. And afterwards, once you've blended it in, you can press over it with your fingers to help blend it out, but you can't touch it too much or it is going to stick to your fingers. After that, I'm just going to press the skin together so that the edges wrinkle. And then I'm going to be using a combination of red and then a dark brown and I'm going to be using a really kind of messed up nail art brush anything which the ends of or the bristles are really scuffed and just splaying everywhere it's kind of perfect because it helps you get quite a good feathered effect so I'm going to be putting that all around the blobs Once I've blended the blobs all around, I'm just going to start making little holes in the scar wax. And in some of them I'm going to make it look like little tunnels which are coming out of the skin, which is gross, but it's meant to look gross, so that's okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to take some red, and then I'm going to outline all the little blobs again. And then we're going to start doing vein-like patterns. And again, you want to use a brush that's very splayed out, nothing that sticks in a line too much because it's meant to look a little feathered if you can. Now if you don't have a nail art brush like that, you can also use an art brush or any kind of brush that has been dropped on the floor too many times and is no good for anything else really. It's perfect for things like this. Over the top of the blobs I'm going to take a feather brush and I'm just going to put a dark bluey purple over the edges for mixing in a kind of pussy yellowy white in the inside and then mix that with a little bit of red for outlining everything with red a little bit more and then putting yellow in between the veins. Now this is just a little touch of yellow, nothing too much. Make sure that you really blend it out and even try and do a few veins leading out from it. Now one thing I need to mention is that you don't need a palette like the one I have here. What you can use, which pretty much does exactly the same thing, is use lipsticks in this colour. Now I know something like a yellow lipstick isn't terribly easy to find, but it's not the important colour. The important colour is the red, the blue, and then if you can, a little bit of black as well to mix it in to make it darker, or to give it more of a bluey tinge. And then I'm going to finish off with a little lip gloss, I'm just going to pop that right into the holes that I've made, and then I'm going to pop rice inside to look like maggots, which probably isn't that realistic if you're really close to it, but from a distance it does look pretty disgusting. And that's it, you're done. Now you can just go ahead and show this to someone right in the middle of lunch. <laughs>